on Capitol Hill now where there are far more questions than answers over a developing sex scandal. A staffer with ties to Maryland's Ben Cardin reportedly in a sex tape recorded in the very room where Supreme Court nominees have faced questions. 7 News reporter Nick Minock is live for us with the story from Capitol Hill. Nick. Hey, Michelle, we're inside the Hart office building. We've been here since this morning waiting to ask questions of Maryland U.S. Senator Ben Cardin. Here's his office right here. You see the lights are on. You don't see the senator. We did send them an email asking, what is his reaction to this sex scandal? We got an email back that says one of his staffers is no longer employed by the U.S. Senate. The U.S. Capitol Police confirms to 7 News they're looking into a sex scandal in the United States Senate. When 7 News emailed Maryland U.S. Senator Ben Cardin's office asking, what is Senator Cardin's response to one of his staffers reportedly having sex in a U.S. Senate committee hearing room? Cardin's office wrote back, the staffer is no longer employed by the U.S. Senate. We will have no further comment on this personnel matter. Who is Senator Cardin's ex-staffer? Well, according to his LinkedIn profile, he worked in Cardin's office for more than two years. He was a climate and energy fellow of Friends of the Earth, and he was a field organizer for the Democratic Party of Virginia. He posted this on his LinkedIn profile, quote, this has been a difficult time for me as I have been attacked for who I love to pursue a political agenda. While some of my actions in the past have shown poor judgment. I love my job and would never disrespect my workplace. Any attempts to characterize my actions otherwise are fabricated, and I'll be exploring what legal options are available to me in these matters, unquote. The Daily Caller reports two men filmed a sex tape in a Senate hearing room, and the video was shared in a private group for gay men in politics. It is believed the two men had sex in Heart Room 216, which is where the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee meets. You might might recall this room if you watch the historic nomination hearings of U.S. Supreme Court Justice Kentaji Brown Jackson in March 2022. And Maryland U.S. Senator Ben Cardin isn't the only U.S. Senator 7 News has questions for. We're going to have more on that ahead at 6 o'clock on 7 News. Reporting live from Capitol Hill, Nick Minock, 7 News. All right, Nick, thank you. And you might recall Senator Ben Cardin is not seeking re-election next year. He'll retire from the Senate. Prince George's County Executive Angela Alsobrooks and Congressman David Trone are the front runners in the Democratic primary. And a big endorsement in that race, House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries announcing that he is endorsing Trone in that Senate race. Also, Brooks has some high-profile endorsements of her own as well on from the governor, Governor Westmore, and former House Minority Leader Steny Hoyer.